difficult to slide a tray under it? No, shouldn't be. It they might have trouble. They might have to disconnect it, but mm -hmm. depending on how they do it, they may be able to raise it up. Depending on how much flex is in it, because they only got to get up about an yeah. inch. But an HVAC person could do that. That's who would do that. Yeah. Good, and really, that's a recommendation that we have a tray under this yeah, I mean, because it's, it's filled, a finished basement. Yeah. Um, they can do these float switches too. And it would spill because it would back up here. Yeah, right now there's no backup. If that fails, if, if, if that leaks, then it's going to leak on the floor. If that fails, then it's just going to leak on the floor out this way. There's no backup at all. Gotcha. Um, sometimes they can put float switches in here where they'll put a connection here and it's a little float switch so if the pan fills up in here before it spills they might be able to do it that way but typically they're still going to put a small pan under that condensate tray you know just a little bitty one over here with a float switch on it so you may not have to put a pan under the whole thing you may just be able to do it that. in a couple, couple of combinations got it so i had the float switch up here doing that and this one's got a little large filter right here i figure this is the location for you must be familiar with these from the basements in new england the moisture alarm. Yes. The thing that that woke us up one night and I thought the house was burning down and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. <laughs> and then the other component of this is a humidifier. which has a byproduct of water. It, in the heating mode, it'll add moisture to the system so it won't be so dry air. <clears throat> They're a little bit less efficient on the heat pump because the heat pump's not making really hot air. Mm. You know, heat pump, uh, what we're looking for in a heat pump is about a 13 to 15 degree differential from air going in and out. So if it's, if a uh, if your house is 68, then the air coming out is only in the maybe low 80s. Um, so putting moisture into that lower temperature sometimes is difficult to do and actually make it absorb that moisture sometimes. These filters just need to be cleaned every so often. It looks like it hadn't had much done to it in a while. So cleaned or, cleaned or use, replaced. Yeah, you can replace that. So if it's something you're going to use, then I'd have when you if you have the system serviced, I just have them service that too, place the filter if I need it. But they do, I mean, they do have a water supply because they're spraying water in there. So again, they have the potential to spill water. Okay. <clears throat> and they produce a byproduct of water there. And this is the controller for that. Humidifier. Humidifier, yeah. You just set it. And they've got it set on. 50%, so it should be kicking some water in every so often. Looks like they've had a spill before. Looks like I've seen it. Yep. Since we're running essentially in heat mode right now, that could be something that I'll put it in there as you need to further investigate. It could be something that is actually was going on last summer. And then when you switch to heat mode, it just dries up. So mm -hmm. it may be an ongoing issue with condensate pump maybe leaking a little bit or something, but mm -hmm. But again, this well, the whole issue we're talking about should help right, clear right. that up. Some sort of back. Would you recommend a further HVAC inspection at this point? Since it's heat pumps, not not really. You know, I mean, if it was just the air conditioner units, then I'd tell you that I can't do anything with it. Mm -hmm. But in heat pump, now this one I'm running the air conditioner because it got so warm in the house. Right. Um, and the only difference between heating and cooling in a heat pump is a reversing valve that sits outside. So that's the only thing that could physically go wrong with it. Um, when we don't run it both directions at heat pump. So we don't get too concerned about heat pumps in the winter in the winter time without the air part. But I run this one in air conditioner so I'm not all these will be pretty well tested. Okay. So. And then this one's the same way probably. 
But this one's for down here. It, even though it's in an unfinished area, it's against a finished wall. Mm -hmm. So there's a potential for spillage mm -hmm. into that. So this one will be done the same way. Again, well, this one be, if I want to put a pan, much easier because it's already up. But again, maybe I'll just put a float switch and put a small pan under the condensate pump and deal with it that way. Mm 